there are um, some some things which are common for organizations who are who has been successful and who has been developing their work and networks there there is certain kind of a similar process you have to accept that obstacles will always appear during the process it's it's only essential to find solutions on the and the ways to survive um, typical features of suspect sus successful process um, first of all core team and its commitment flow of new ideas uh, persistency of of people who are in the in the organization members of it participants of it strong faith in the organization and its mission uh, the success, successful process proceeds in many cases as follows and after reaching the end it's ready to start again so it's kind of circle the key thing is that what is the reaction in the development different development phases in the starting point usually there is a great sometimes even crazy idea um, one or more committed persons uh, who have a strong vision and clear values are um, are founding a let's say activity group or NGO. But there are always these no believers. I call them but people around. They say good idea, but it would be interesting. But there are always buts, and then there is always in the starting point resistant. When something uh, totally new happens and somebody is trying to change things, people have resistance. And it might somebody be because of fear of change, feeling a little bit insecure. Then comes the second phase. This core team still is very persist persistent and want, will start in a small scale. These persons continue convincing different individuals, groups, organizations and bodies to come along. Uh, there is still no faith from others than the core group to this, to this good idea or crazy idea. They are continuing by themselves. But then happens some kind of turning point. In this turning point, after a while, it can sometimes take years. Um, small successes will occur. Uh, they will give visibility because the idea has been quite a new and and even crazy and when it when it will succeed it's it's some kind of surprise for for others for the members of the community for the municipality and so on even for the for the people who are giving funds what will then happen when when these small successes gives visibility. Then people, more people, more groups, more organizations start to appreciate the work. So you have, you have then name, uh, people know you, uh, um, organizations know you, enterprises, public organizations, they are aware of your, your um, activities. And they also start to appreciate them. Um, what, what then happens? Network starts to expand and to develop more activities. People start to ask, can you do this? Is it possible if you, if you take this, this kind of activities into your, into your work? And then if you start to cooperate, then more visibility.
So the fourth phase, next turning point, it can happen after a period of success and stable situation for several, after several years maybe. Something crucial happens. For instance, a change in the operational environment, key activities become old-fashioned, they don't meet the needs of the participants. People uh, don't come anymore. You are not so popular. You are not invited into other networks. Um, key persons must then what they have to do. They have to do radical decisions and they, are, they have to be ready for that. And find also, once again, innovative solutions. Crisis, it needs uh, solving and solving usually needs innovations. Then um, you, you need flexibility. That means that when, when you are in a crisis, when those activities are not working anymore which you are offering, uh, you have to put your values, your mission, your vision activities under discussion and part partially also changed. And then in the final end, the fifth phase, then you will get appreciation, acceptance in larger scale. You get acceptance in locally, regionally, nationally, even globally. Then different kind of partners and people come increasingly alone, along with their resources, even if you, you don't have to invite them. They are coming because you are you have so great appreciation and acceptance. Um, then values, vision and ways to act are checked from time to time. That is important. You have to be aware, you have to be awake what is happening and react to the changes. And after, uh, then you can start once again from the beginning. This circle starts. You need this turning points you need sometimes crises to get development and to to be be able to change things networking is crucial while developing new ideas to activities, wanting to make sustainable solutions to the defects around you, more partners, wider shared expertise and commitment in the community. You, if you do alone, you are not able to do everything you would like to do and it's better to have partners. It's important to be a trustworthy partner to be aware of future development and its effects to people's lives, response to the needs of the community and to members of the community. When you do networking, it guarantees more resources, more viewpoints for idea generation and implementation, more options to disseminate the achievements in a larger scale than while acting alone. I think it's important to keep in mind that we all are in the same boat.